Okay. Welcome back, everybody. I'm gonna take another crack at some Odyssey Yi Ying. Yi Yi Ying. Um, okay, last time. I was looking for the art in this level. Um, and I couldn't find it. And so the situation is I'm not sure that there's not art in this level. And I'm not sure that there is art in this level. So that makes things a little tough. How much is Metal Mario? Dun 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 dun. I need 3,000. To get to uh, truly metal. So anyway, where I'm at now is trying to find the art in this stage. Uh, so that I can either be sure that I've done it or uh, find it and then use it to locate a, a moon. Now, the thing is, I'm 99% sure that's what I'm looking for. And the reason I'm sh pretty sure is because I'm thinking, okay, so last time I didn't go in any of these really, and now I feel I have to. Even though he tells me that, because I'm like, but what if there's an album art here? Oh God. Because if there is an album art here, you gotta find it. I don't think there is. I don't know why I keep calling it an album art. An art hint. It's like I just gotta look everywhere. There's really no other way to find this than to do a, as Tommy Lee Jones put it, hard target search here. And the thing is, am I a hundred percent sure there's a star or a moon and or a, <laughs> a hint art in every level? No, I am not. Because you can't be. Uh, but it kind of seems like there is. That's part one. And part two is that... So the, the toad and the... Uh, the bird are both like, I don't have any hints for you. Which indicates to me, right, that um, it's not in this level. And that's why I can't find the art. So, that's why I'm suspicious that the art is the key. Because if the art tells me where it is in another level, then that's why they can't tell me in this level where it is. So, we're a little stuck here. Making a very boring and thorough search of this world to try and find something that I'm not entirely convinced exists. And uh, spent almost an hour doing that last play and I'm not necessarily thinking I won't be doing that this time. <laughs> I know, you don't have any clues for me. You're a dumb, worthless bird. I smashed this probably last time with the dino. Maybe not though. I tried to smash as much as I could. I don't know if I went this way. Last time I was also kind of obsessed with like can I get the dinosaur up to the top? 
and use use him to smash those uh destructible blocks up top. And the answer was no as of last time. But doesn't mean it's not possible, just means I was not able to do it. I think I destroyed like all of this in the uh, on the hunt. Okay, so last night me and Poon Master Flex had our <laughs> I was gonna say annual movie night, our weekly movie night, and usually we just pick something. You know what I mean? It's not like a epic thing. Neither of us also are like real. You know, uh, cinephiles, I guess. We're not picking any movies to impress anybody, that's for sure. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like what what's around on streaming. It kind of started because we have all these streaming services, you know, like everybody. And then um, you find yourself watching a lot of TV instead of movies, you know? And I think because it's easier, and I mean, a lot of it's great. Don't get me wrong. But I was like, I don't know, I kind of miss watching a movie. I kind of miss paying attention for an entire movie instead of, you know, uh, 45 minutes or something. And just, I don't know, there's something about it. And I was like, maybe I should give this another, another chance. Why does this exist? This has to exist for something, right? But what? I know there's nothing here, but is there? You know? Is there really nothing here? I mean, I kind of don't have a lot of faith that there's going to be much in this uh, 2D environment, but you know. Where does it put you? And so last night we watched, it's like a Jerry Seinfeld did a movie called Unfrosted, which is a like super fictional fictionalized version of the creation of uh, Pop-Tarts. And uh, the movie is like as silly as it sounds. You know what I mean? Um, it's definitely meant to be silly. And uh, follows through on that promise. And it was interesting because like I got online to, you know, review it on Letterboxd, which I do. Um, kind of just to keep track of things for myself, but also I found it helpful to review things and just write about things because, uh, you know, you write about something and you're like, I gotta come up with something to write about. So I'm gonna write about every movie I watch and then maybe half the reviews are really not that, uh, centered on the movie itself. You know, maybe that's fine. Okay, I'm pretty thoroughly convinced it's not in here. I mean, I don't think Cappy would steer me wrong. Um, so anyway, I found a lot of people seem to really dislike this movie. And like, I kind of understood, or I guess kind of expected that. Mostly because, but you know, I felt like a lot of it was because people are like, Jerry Seinfeld is not funny. You know, and it's like, if that's how you feel, that's fine. Like, I really don't give a shit. I mean, I do agree with you in an objective way. 
just because it's like, look, there's no objective measure for what is and isn't funny, which means you can't really say somebody is or isn't funny, right? But if, if anyone were to suggest any objective measure of funniness, I'd be like, well, I think he passes that, uh, you know, in any way I could think of, really. And so I was like, I don't know, man. There seems to be a lot of Jerry Seinfeld backlash or something, which I don't fully understand. Now, I gotta be honest, I'm not a very online person, is how I would put it. So, like, I don't spend a ton of time engaging with, you know, whatever's happening in the culture. I know people don't like him because he, like, uh, dated a teenage girl, like, who was of age, but, you know, much younger than him. And that's, like, a thing that people don't like. I just, you know, I don't know. It's not something I'm into, but it's also not something that I spend much time thinking about, <laughs> if I'm honest. So who knows? Maybe he's history's greatest monster. <sighs> Doesn't seem like there's anything to do here. I mean, I'm 100% convinced that it must be in the overworld. Well, I tried to get them five coins. Tried like hell. Keep saying there's nothing to do here. But I'm gonna try and get on top of these. Just to satisfy my own uh, curiosity, I guess. Fuck! Not how it's done. But it could it be up here? Did Cappy say there's nothing to do here? Wasn't really paying attention. I'm sorry, Cappy. I'm sorry. You did. I know it's like possible. Because I did it a couple times. <laughs> that was just me pushing every button as many times as possible. That was not like playing of the game. I can't see where I'm going. This is unfortunate. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, it's not on the first one. Oh, God. Can be certain that it's not up there. That's something. See it up there. Maybe I should go to the little island instead, huh? Hmm. It just feels like I'm not barking up the correct tree here. You know what I mean, the second one. Who 
wonder who working at the Mario Odyssey office was like, guys, we gotta make a skeleton, right? This is something we really, we've been thinking about it for a long time. It's time that we just, this is our shit or get off the pot moment. This would be going a lot better if I didn't have to do each one twice and then die. It's up there. I'm giving up for now. I'm just giving up. It can't be up there, can it? It's got to be out here. It has to. Like, it would be incredibly unfair for it to be in there. And then Cappy's like, there's nothing in here. And then there was something in there, right? Like, they wouldn't do that to me. I feel very strongly... But this game doesn't work that way. Entirely possible I'd never been the giant one. See, because here's the thing I was thinking. It's like, well, you probably got to get all of these in order to get them, right? See, this kind of seems like maybe this is in the third stage. Because the rest of these are sort of in the third. And then here's like the fourth, maybe, fifth. It's like maybe I'm missing one in the woods still, and in the desert. so much. Thank you. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of out of places to go. Like, I can't think of where else I could possibly go. And find something. Like, why can't he just tell me where the hint art is? At least. You know what I mean? Give me a little something. God. I'm like completely out of ideas of even where to look, you know? All I can think of is trying to get that T-Rex up to the top. But I don't know how you would possibly do that. Unless he can make it from that trampoline up there. And that doesn't seem incredibly realistic. Right? That doesn't seem like it's going to work. That puts you in one of those, like, get up there, you know. But it, it's like, it's almost close enough to seem realistic. Right? But it's not quite there. You're like, well, maybe it is possible. But boy. You'd think they'd make it more obvious, you know what I mean? Like, this is how you get up there. What the fuck? What the fuck? I think you have to very specifically step on it. Ah! Ah! And it's like, go away and come back so he can come back. Can't come back when you're there. You have to get slightly different position for him to come back. Yeah, see, he'll clear it if I run off of here. I can't tell if running makes a difference or not. I also want to try, like... Does that make a difference? Does it seem like it? Like that doesn't seem much different than the other times, right? Knock you down, you pull. Now I can't turn around. Okay, sure. Why would that be a jump? Why would that work? That's fine. That's just fine. Crap. Tired of your excuses, Cappy. It's around here. Anything?
And I'm very torn because I've not looked online yet for any hints for this game. Like, all I did so far was just look online for, like, what are some of the harder ones? Because I was like, is there, like, a ridiculous, you know, one like there was for 3D World or whatever? And there's not. So that's, that's part of why I'm very torn about this, too. It's because, like, I am like, maybe I should just look online. And then I'm like, but dude, you're so close. You've made such progress without doing it. This is where that secret entrance painting is. And over here, I think there's a treasure chest. No art. No hint art. No hint art. It just sucks because it's like, because this is the first stage and it was kind of also the first one I really came back and tried to get a lot of things on. It's like possible that there is no hint art on this stage. And it's possible that I saw it, and at the time I saw it, had no idea what to do with it, and therefore mostly ignored it. I just keep like looking for, like where's a spot that it could be? It's just not a big level, you know? There's not that much here. Okay, well, if I bring the dino this way, is there any jump ups to there? Really doesn't look like it, does it? Doesn't seem like there's any jumping up there for that dinosaur. Any other thing that could break it? I mean, these chain chomps can, but they're stuck up there. They can't reach it. So, in effect, they cannot. I don't think the dinosaur can get here. end up doing something like this, right? And it's like, I don't really want to do this. Um, not enjoying it. Doesn't seem like the game's really meant for me to do this. You know what I mean? It's not, it doesn't seem exactly designed for me to do this. I guess there are coins. But especially because the return trip is impossible. Okay, that's the third. Okay. 
easiest one to climb. Fourth. No art. Well, fart. There's no art. Anyway, I was talking about uh, Jerry Seinfeld and just... I guess what I was thinking, it was interesting to me that like... It seems like it's a thing now to... I don't know if it's now or if it's always been this way. It just seems like it's a thing to like watch and review things that you're not going to like. Now, I'm a fan of certain, you know, people who do this online or whatever. But I think there's a, a, a key type of thing that's done this way and is entertaining to watch or review that way. And really, honestly, there's like two, two versions of it. One is like <laughs> some super cheap piece of shit that somebody made. Um, and I don't even mean like a low budget action movie necessarily, but something like that is usually pretty fun to watch in that way. And that's the kind of movie where you're like, well, I think I understand what's happening here. You know, on a, on a level of like, why was this made? Why did they make the choices they made? You're like, well, because, you know, it's inexpensive this way. Um, they, w they were like, well, we have $20,000 to make a, a movie. Let's get Roger Corman in here to make it in five days. And, uh, you know, we'll pay everyone almost nothing. And, you know, he'll have a couple set pieces in here that give us at least enough to put a, an image on the back of the box or two. Uh, it'll, it'll rent at Blockbuster. And, you know, like, Cinemax will be like, well, if you could put a topless lady in there, we've got a slot at, you know, whatever time of day that this could run, I guess. And so what you do is you make a hundred of those a year. You make $20,000 per. Or, you know, you make, sorry, you make like 10 of those a year. And even if they profit $20,000 a piece, you're like, Okay, we've turned the studio has made a two hundred thousand dollar profit this year. After everyone gets paid, it's like, well, all right. Those movies usually are kind of fun to make fun of, because a lot of times there's something like uh, there's a phenomenon, which I don't have a cute name for, but it's basically like sometimes you watch a movie and you're like, you know what? It's clear that one person in the room did give a shit about this. They probably shouldn't have. It's probably unnecessary. But it seems that one person did care. And you know, that's intriguing. And then... But you know, so then there's other bizarre choices and things that were made and... Things turn out strangely because it's like... Yeah... You know, what they did with this movie... It, it makes sense within that context, but when you watch it as a movie, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So that's kind of a fun type of movie. The other type is a, a big movie. You know, if you watch a Fast and Furious, and it's like, this doesn't make a lick of sense, you know, but you can get something out of it by, I don't know, just kind of watching it. Saying to yourself, like, I don't understand why this exists, but, you know, it's, and it's fun. And it's fun because in that instance, you can imagine somebody at some point has had a conversation about this, right? This isn't a thing, um, like one movie type that, you know, is not as fun to make fun of is what I would call the equivalent of the Batman movie that I made with my friend Derek when we were like six or seven years old. And you're like, I mean, yeah, it's an utter piece of shit. And I wouldn't expect it not to be under those circumstances. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is two young kids who don't even really understand anything. Like, we didn't understand script writing. You know what I mean? If someone was like, what's the script you're working off of? It's like, what do you mean? I don't even know that that's a thing that people do is write a script for a movie. Alright. You know what 
I'm going to do. Look at the descriptions of these outfits. Be like, do they do anything? Do they do stuff? Are they just outfits? The L stands for winner. Smells unusual. <laughs> this Diddy Kong cap. Uh, it doesn't fit well and kind of chafes. Bowser. See, like, what if I get this and then I'm able to do Bowser stuff? Seriously shiny. thousand for the night outfit because I'm like what if one of these gives me some kind of power you know what I mean some kind of ability to smash bricks because Bowser can smash bricks so what if wearing this gives me Bowser abilities but that cannot be can it, it just doesn't make sense not a lick of it Okay. It's probably time to move somewhere else for a while. Just for the sake of sanity, right? I know I have several to get here. Let's let's do this. Let's make this happen. Armed with our new skills. See if in this hour we can get one moon. Be nice. Oh, you know what? I bet there's one in the town square for me. And I'm not going to ask this hint toad, because if he tells me that there's one in the town square, I'm going to lose my shit. Okay, and so then, Pete, we got to be on the lookout for the, uh... Ha! Got one in this hour. At this rate, it'll only take another full-time work week to finish this game. Ugh. Why'd you trick me with that? I thought that little robot guy tells me about Amiibo. I already found him! Did I fix it? Tell me information. Give me moons. Alright. Alright, Poindexter. Glad I didn't buy that outfit. I would have had to coin hunt. Okay. I've missed one in the 2D portion. I mean, yes, I absolutely could have. Ah! stuff in there. There's music notes in there.
Mm -hmm. I oh, know. My amusement knows no bounds. What stopped his journey? Ice? Oh shit. Probably five. I did know that. That's exactly how I knew that. I was like, I think there's a missing one. Mr. Question Face. I wish that was it. I think that was it. Not the one I was clued into. Which is good and bad. Found one. I guess it's good. Let's just call it good and not good and bad, because I got a freebie, right? we go. Ugh. I don't think I have all the coins in this stage either, do I? Now this I got tricked by last time. Because you eventually go up there, right? Damn it. Ah. I am having trouble. I would like to buy a hint. Oh! Dear God. this though kind of gotta believe I did this I thought I could uh, bounce off that cactus or something. Okay, I did do that already. Hey, 
Maybe I can knock these over with the dog man. Maybe I get up on the roof. I do a roofie. A shadow there. Where's the easiest, uh, I could get on an electric. Get up there. Entirely possible. Oh shit. Damn it. Challenge one. All right, I can go back in here, and if he's like, there's nothing left to do, I'll be like, there's probably nothing left to do here. Okay. Good, because I hated this part. All right. All right. friend sorry bro I'm sorry good dog a toad here who I may or may not have given a pleasing uh, song to yet. <laughs> Memories of a tough battle. Did I do this already? I mean, okay. Brutal's battle? Welcome, buddy. Yes! Crazy for thinking I should just try and go down there. Ho 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 ho. Um, okay. And chill out on this music, I think. It's a lot of battle ones. It's kind of a lucky one. Saw a couple coins. Got me pretty excited. Whew. 
10 more. Huh? Still quite a ways on this stage. You know what I'm tempted to do is leave them. Leave these two. Then come back and see if Cappy is like, there's nothing to do here. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these two. And be like, does Cappy say there's nothing left to do here? Oh shit. Not at all what I was looking to do. Not at all. Wouldn't you love to exit this area and not get any of the moves? Ah! Is there another hole over on the other side too? Okay, so there's probably. Oh, look at all those coins. And then there's a moon there. Yeah, we definitely have time for you to screw around doing that, sir. get up there. It's possible, I think, coins. Could there only be one here? Doesn't make sense. How much how much coinage is this gonna be? Is there one on one of the undersides of these or something? Is one of these hollow or something? That would be genius. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I only got one in here, though, so I can't really do my experiment yet. Unless there is only one in here. 
Maybe there is. Okay, let's do this. I go in here. Ah, shit. What the hell? There will be no long jumping. Okay, okay. So he'll just say there are coins in here. Alright. Answered my question. And then if I leave and come back, he'll probably say, well, there's nothing left to do here. I'm like, I'm so cool. I don't need to change the camera, right? Okay. Sorry to question my trust in you, Cappy. Just have to. Can't trust anything at this point. Take nothing for granted, right? Let's go back to the Odyssey. See how we're doing. Okay, six more coins, four more moons. So we are getting there. We are getting there. Mm-hmm. So we've got what, 47 more? 47 more moons to victory? God, that's close. Please, he's begging me. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time.